guys so for today's video we are reorganizing my life specifically for september i want to do like a reset i want to prep myself mentally physically for the fall for the new season ahead of us because i feel like it's such a big transition from summer to fall since like this is like a whole 360 different time of the year like we're going from hot weather to winter basically every single day and fall so i really just want to prep my space prep my mental game just like reorganize my life i feel like there's things that i need to go in deep clean and just redo so that is a little plan for today she wants to say hello say hello so yeah that is what we are going to be doing today and of course no reset no reorganization is better started than with a workout gotta kickstart every reset like that because that resets me in every way mentally physically makes my body feel good going into the day so i'm gonna go to the gym now i just got ready it's currently almost six o'clock now and we're gonna head over to the gym soon and start our workout but if you guys are feeling stagnant just at least like just get movement first thing and then it'll motivate you and snowball into other things because i swear getting movement it's like key number one in order to like get your life back together because it'll just help you so much mentally and physically and just make you feel like a brand new person so i actually washed my gym bag last night because i had like a coffee spill on it and it was so disgusting for the longest time it's a bit damp still but i'm gonna use it whatever i also got this like mini not mini really but another bore brush, brush, bristle brush for the gym just so i can keep it in my gym bag when i wear like my sleep bag and stuff because i don't want to always be like carrying mine from home i'm still reading this i still have a chapter or two left and i don't know why i just can't get myself to finish it kind of getting boring at the end so i really do want to finish it because i want to say i finished the book so that will happen eventually but i do want to get like a new book anyways so anyways okay repacked she smells good but she's a bit dead. okay let's go to the gym <laughs> Got home from the gym so happy i did that main mission of today is like once i do my morning routine shower and stuff i'm going to clean when i clean the time goes by so fast i swear like take cleaning the house takes me like nine hours because i can never do everything in one full day like it seriously takes me so long and it's so exhausting maybe that's because i work out in the morning and then i clean so maybe that's why because like every single time i've tried to clean the whole entire house has been like after a workout so maybe that's why because it's kind of a workout in itself honestly like it is a hard task if you have like a bigger home i don't even live in like a huge house or anything but like this is like two levels so it's like bigger than cleaning an apartment this is like double the size of our apartment anyways i'm just gonna get what i can done today because i already know that like i'm gonna look at the clock and it's gonna be five hours later after accomplishing like one thing and also like organizing is very tedious too it's like so satisfying but it's almost something that you can't do like all in one day because sometimes you realize oh my god i need to order stuff like i need to order bins to organize and then that's what always gets me and frustrates me it's like mid organization i like need more bins or something so we'll see what we could do today but i'm just gonna try to do my best with what we've got and go from there I'm gonna like shower and then do my skincare kind of get myself a bit ready for the day and then we will get into it <laughs>
you guys there is nothing like cleaning this living room because since my couch is white it looks so bad when it like gets dirty and so i'm like constantly cleaning the couch and that's the sacrifice you got to make for a white couch but once you clean it it looks so good so like you almost have to be upkeeping with it like every single day but i aim to vacuum it about once a week i've never actually like washed the cushions before which i don't think that's really gross because they're not really dirty they just like get crumbs on them there is like a couple spots that i could see that definitely could be washed but i'm really scared to wash my cushions um like the covers because i don't want to ruin them so if you guys know how to properly wash couch cushions let me know like do i put them in the washing machine i'm assuming so but then like do i just use regular detergent i'm assuming i have to hang them to dry what are you doing baby girl so yeah let me know how to properly wash couch cushions white ones in specific because i don't want to make them all like warped in different colors let me know if you guys have a couch what you do to it to wash the covers because i feel like it's something i should definitely do eventually what are you doing baby girl she just came meowing down the stairs for attention if you want to be in the video hmm? as i was saying when this room is clean it feels amazing because this almost feels like kind of like the centerpiece of the house and this is like the room that we use the most so when it's clean like this it just feels like a million dollars like lighting a candle and this room is clean oh my gosh it's just the best feeling ever next order of business is this whole situation i have actually not organized this in so long and it just looks atrocious so we're gonna do a good needed organization here it's actually so bad like look at that like what even is this we keep shoving things in and it's just become, becoming worse and worse and worse so let's get her organized back to her normal state and this has actually been bugging me for the longest time now but i've been wanting to kind of save it to do for like a good reset video so this is perfect timing and <laughs> she's like what's in here for me all right i'm checking it out honestly i think yeah that's definitely the move is to just literally remove everything and then put it on the countertop and then clean it and put it back in that's my favorite way of organizing things because i feel like that is the most efficient and it just feels nice to just take everything out so that's the plan let's do this <laughs> looks a million times better and it feels a million times better like this is just pure satisfaction over here this is like the best way i can do it for now the pantry is kind of awkward because it's like super deep but i don't know what to do with the space so i feel like this is kind of like the best way of organizing it but let me know if you guys have any other ideas of what i can do because yeah like i said it just i feel like super awkward to keep clean so hopefully this will help me just by rearranging everything but honestly i feel like it's just going to be one of those things where i'm just going to have to keep organizing to keep on top of it and just putting everything back in its place but let me know if you guys have any other ideas but i think it is good and just so 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 much better for now and it feels so good to have that done this one is might actually be worse than the last so this is kind of like my baking cabinet i put my baking stuff in here and just like miscellaneous bowls got my toaster in here just like random things i haven't organized her in so long and this is like very very much well needed going into the new season i'm really dreading this but it has to be done so i'm gonna do the exact same thing that i just did take everything out organize clean put it back in so let's see what we can do here also i gotta like figure out a better way to like organize the cat stuff as well because that is shoved in here too like their food and stuff <laughs> Kind of 
cleaned out these containers here in the back and I put my flowers, my oats, my sugar, and it's just so much more organized and it feels amazing and I'm so happy that I did this. just got this matcha kit from Amazon in the mail. I'm so excited to use it. I've been on a huge matcha kick lately. So I'm gonna unbox this, show you guys everything is that's in it. I'll link it down below. It's just literally on Amazon Prime. So it came in like two days, but I'm so excited. I've been wanting one of these for so long. So excited to make a matcha. So here's everything it comes with. It comes with a little bowl to make it in. And it's actually really like heavy, good quality. It comes with this thing, which is for the whisk. So obviously it comes with the whisk and you go like that to mix the matcha and then I'm pretty sure, yeah, that just sits on there to store it, just like that, which is so satisfying. And then you whisk, whisk, whisk in the bowl. And then it also came, comes with a strainer and then a little like traditional matcha scoop and you put like three of these in and then you wanna like refine it so there's no clumps in the bowl. So let's make one. I'm curious to see if it's gonna taste different than just doing it normally. Binu, are you interested in the matcha, Miss Binu? And you're not even gonna say hello first? You're not even gonna say hello? To assemble this matcha, I'm gonna do cashew milk and then I'm gonna mix it with this pumpkin spice oat milk that I got. So we're gonna make a little bit of a pumpkin spiced matcha and we will see how this turns out. I'm really excited. And then I'm just gonna pour the matcha over top. Oh, that looks really pretty. And then to get all the matcha in the bowl, I'm just gonna pour some milk, get it all in. You want the truth? Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is so good. Pumpkin spice matcha slaps. I went to HomeSense over the weekend and I did some damage. I literally spent $600 there. You buy like five things and it amounts to $600 nowadays, so I'm not even surprised. But I'm gonna give you guys a pretty big haul on what I got. I already kind of rearranged our spare bathroom because I've been wanting to redo that. It's just been giving me such an ick. My decor choices in terms of like my storage baskets and whatever, they just look so cheap. And I just want to switch everything to neutral, just like classy style. And so I'm really excited to just like reorganize everything, get rid of things that I'm not using and just making things look more complete in this house. Or like redecorating things. Cause I've just, I've been getting an ick. You know when you just like get that ick like once or twice a year that you need to like reorganize your whole space that is exactly how i've been feeling lately and it's been bugging me so much and i am so excited to get in over these next couple days and just like revamp reorganize everything okay so from homesense i got this dish soap and i really just love the packaging on this because i just bought a big bottle from costco but i'm just gonna refill this because it's glass and so how cute is this this is just like elegant love the dark colors it reminds me more of fall and i just want to revamp more just like darker colors now and neutrals and then i got three of these sand and fog vanilla sandalwood scented hand soap because i just love the bottles and i want to replace my cheap ikea ones with these because they just look so much better more sleek i also got the sand and fog vanilla sandalwood body wash slash shower gel just because we ran out of our other ones this was just like a random purchase but it smells so good and it smells like fall time really randomly but i just got a garlic press because we've been needing one and i got these two sets of organizational bins just because i always need more like i literally always need more i wish i could have like the store with me when i'm organizing so i can just buy things as i go because sometimes you don't know how much you need until like you're actually organizing and then I thought these were so cute for the fall. I bought a lighter color and a darker color checkered, but I think I'm gonna return the lighter color and keep the darker because I like it better. I just didn't know which ones I would like in the house better, but I definitely like the dark. So how cute is this? This screams fall to me. Just like new towels for the kitchen and I'm obsessed. 
obsessed with them. It was only $10 for the two pack, so pretty good deal. And then I got these organizational baskets. They're woven baskets, and I'm planning on putting these in the master bath. Um, underneath, there's like this portion of the sink area where it's like open, and you could put bins in, and like you could see it. And right now, I have like these little plastic colorful bins that like just I'm getting icked out by. Like I need to switch things up. I can't deal with them anymore. <laughs> so I got these, and then I also got literally basically the same thing, but this one's just a bit bigger and i got two of them and then i stumbled upon these bed pillows and look at how cute the ruffles are and our bed i never really put any effort into it in terms of like making it look really lush and nice so i want to make sure that going into the fall season i make the bed as cozy and as nice as possible and so i feel like these are going to be such a good addition to our bed i'm obsessed with them they're made in portugal too and it was 60 dollars for the two so not horrible because i feel like pillows in general are pretty like expensive yeah i feel like these can be taken with us as well to like our future houses whether they're in the guest bedroom or whatever these will always like match with any decor because they're very neutral and they have a beautiful like pattern on them i don't know if you could see but what a good find i'm obsessed over the weekend i kind of redid this bathroom a bit i still need to do like in the cabinets but i got this cheetah rug from HomeSense, and i'm actually obsessed with it this just completes the bathroom for me and i don't know if i'm gonna like this cheetah print rug forever but this can always be something that is easily switched out and it was cheap so it doesn't matter but i'm obsessed with it and i love the neutral brown i also bought a new towel set we needed a new one for the spare bathroom when people take a shower in here and i got this new laundry hamper how beautiful is she she just ties the whole bathroom in and i'm obsessed i got that little tray as well on the toilet with those face towels i also purchased this new shower curtain which just really also helps complete the bathroom because before i just had a cheap one from ikea but this one just makes it look so much more done and looks so much better like it transforms this whole room and finally i got another hand soap here and this beautiful ralph lauren lamp i haven't taken the plastic or tags off of it yet because i'll Obviously I wanted to test it, but I really think this ties the whole space together and I'm actually in love with it Like you could see it more close up here. It is so beautiful and I feel like this will be a piece that stays with me for a long time pumpkin spice muffins just came out of the oven and they look delectable i'm gonna cut one open and have it with butter right now and i am actually so excited these look amazing so i finally kind of organized the house enough like i just feel like i needed to do that because i haven't cleaned like that in so long and it just feels so good i actually ended up taking all of my couch cover covers off 
and putting them through the washing machine and putting them back on. I just did this off camera because it was just like too rigorous of a process. It took a long time to fit them back. Oh my gosh, it was like literally so tiring. And I had to do three separate loads to fit all the cushions in because, or not the cushions, like the covers in. But now that it's done, it feels so good and the couch smells good. And since I got it about a year ago, I have not washed them like that. Like I always keep up with vacuuming them, spot cleaning them, but I have never run them through the wash and it took like two days to do because I had to air dry them. So I ended up just searching up some videos about it and people were just saying, oh, they're just throwing them in the washing machine. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. Maybe like next time I can add like OxyClean. I don't know if that would like make the color off. So let me know your couch cleaning tips still because for the next time that I wash them, I'm gonna try to aim to do it every six months. About twice a year it would be ideal. I feel like I just love to go too long because this is just like such a good feeling. It is so clean and it is indeed needed for a season reset. And yeah, I can't even explain explain how good I feel right now because clean house clean mind direct correlation right there it feels so good but anyways I want to do a bit of journaling and goal setting I just feel inspired to make some new goals for the fall for the season upon us it's actually so crazy to me how we're entering the second half of the year oh my god it's not even the second half of the year guys it's literally the year is almost over oh my gosh i just can't even comprehend that i just feel like i don't have very clear goals right now and i've been all over the place you don't need goals 100 percent of the time i do have like mini goals every day like okay i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna get this done like i have like little goals that i implement for myself but in terms of like bigger goals i think i need to make those i'm going to write out a couple things get myself in the fall mood tally and i are going to do a whole fall bucket list episode for our podcast so stay tuned for that but that's more things that like i want to do in terms of like activities and stuff so that's going to be a good episode but this is more of just like my personal fall goals for the next season so let's do that I'm just gonna name a few of them a couple of them just being private and personal i do really want to get a fiction book something that'll make me in the mood for fall and the winter just finished my summer book just for the summer by abby jimenez i think her name is but i literally took the whole summer to finish that guys like i literally read so slow usually and i also want to pick up a new self-help book and just start digging into that and reading it piece by piece because those i take forever to go through because i like only reading a couple pages a day Day, just to re-inspire myself but it's not like too much of an information overload i want to hopefully just like get my whole house organized i already did a lot but i just want to continue doing bits and pieces here and there i want to just like be able to maintain the cleanliness of my house better i saw this tiktok and it was like i do a closing shift every night for 30 minutes and the girl literally put on her headphones and for 30 minutes every night she like closed her house down like vacuums wiped the counters make sure everything was clean and so I want to start really actually doing that. And oh my gosh, the app, Apple just came out with the new AirPods Max colors and stuff, like the upgraded version. And I really want to get them because I have been eyeing them and wanting them for a while now. So I may as well just get them. I just don't have a good pair of headphones and I feel like that will help me clean in the house because I'll have something like a podcast on while I vacuum and it'll just make things more fun and more enticing to just like always be cleaning or not always be cleaning, but just like keep up with things more because it directly correlates to my mental health. I can never let my house get messy or unorganized again when i used to work at a restaurant and i used to do like the closing shifts i used to like clean everything before i go restock things and so like i just need to see that as like i need to do that every day for my house you know i want to just like bake and cook more like new homey recipes and meals find lots of soup recipes find lots of like fall baked goods that i can make on pinterest just like experiment with a couple new recipes every week i also want to expand my barista abilities i have been on barista tiktok and i have been so inspired to just like make some fun lattes at home so i'm gonna buy like a couple more ingredients of fun things to spice up my barista abilities so i can make really fun drinks at home instead of you know 
buying drinks, making my own pumpkin spice. So that'll be an upcoming video. So I'm really excited. Just overall, I feel this is always an ongoing goal of mine is just to be present. And I just want to enjoy the fall and not rush like Christmas or anything. And just like really be present in the moment, not wish like any days away. Time, as we already know, it goes by, it flies. And I want to be as present as I can and just enjoy every single day and make the most out of my time in general and like obviously a big goal also is just to stay more off of social media i did quit social media for a while and that was honestly the best i felt ever so i just need to find myself a good balance and i think i'm in the midst of doing that but i just need to like upkeep it make sure i'm not like doom scrolling every day or ever so unhealthy makes time pass so much faster and then it never makes me feel good so i also want to take up an indoor hobby maybe learn how to knit or something i don't know that's kind of granny but like that'd be fun those are my fall little goals i also just want to like set the vibe all the time so good fall like okay it's fall let's light some candles in the evening bake some cookies put on a cozy blanket put on a cute pajama set you know what i mean like really just bask in the vibes the fall vibes that is where my head is at so let me know down below what your guys's fall goals are so we can all share them and what you're looking forward to this fall i'm honestly really excited for this new season it feels like a little bit of a new beginning fall is definitely if not my favorite season top two favorite seasons but anyways i'm gonna head to bed we'll see you guys in my next video thank you guys so much for watching happy fall can't wait for the fall content to come. It's going to be so good and cozy, so get excited. Oh, did you want to say hello? Mm -hmm.